Enjoy your grace. Marcus got up here and ministered last week. I enjoyed it. That's his grace. <laughs> Stay in that grace. Hold your head up. To whom much is given, much is required. There, there was some. I had to go to Psalms 12 and 6 on some of this stuff. That, it talks about that, that some of the truths are tried in the furnace. Y'all know that, right? Mm -hmm. It's in the furnace. Some truths are in the furnace. Some of the things you guys really want, you won't find it. It's going to be in the fire. <laughs> now you're going to figure out when you get in there and try to figure out who's too hot in here. <laughs> Let me get up out of here. I really don't want to go that deep. One thing about the fire, it won't consume you. He's a consuming fire, but he won't consume you. He'll consume the things that's consuming you. That's the parallel. That's, that is the, the interpretation and the analysis of whatever. But anyway, let me go to the first one. So there's, there are stages of this rivers of life. It belongs to us on, on, a, on, a, uh, on a blanket level, on a, a strictly platonic level. It belongs to all of us. It's, you get what I'm saying? And you got to be hungry for it. You know, they were hungry for it, what I'm about to share in the, in the, uh, the book of Acts. They were hungry. And y'all remember that, right? You go to Luke 24, and then it transposes into Luke 24. And, you know, he was really giving them the, the inner, you know, he was spinning and talking about some of the things, you know, when they was on the road to Emmaus. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Cleo was in the, when the other guy that left his name off on the why. <laughs> But Cleopas, sounded like somebody out of the hood was walking with him. And they said the scriptures did something in them. Mm -hmm. Right? And it was burning in them. It was three stages. It, you know, it opened up their, they, then their eyes were open and they, they got understanding. So not only was it burning, but it, did, it was a three-fold thing that was doing on the inside of them. But then the lo, lo, uh, latter part of that talks about how he was expounding to them about the kingdom of God. Because Luke wrote Acts. Yeah. But then they talk, go over there and talks about the 40 days and how they sit over there and they waited. Because <laughs> it was incomplete. Yeah, because the fullness of time had to come. The fullness of Pentecost had to come mm -hmm. in Acts 2. This is your Bible, by the way. So don't look at me like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is your Bible, man. <laughs> hey, man, if you didn't read it, shame on you. This is what your Bible says. Right? This is nothing rabbinical. This is nothing Hebrew, Greek. This is your Bible. Your Bible will say these things. I'm paraphrasing, but that. <laughs> but they had to wait 10 other days to come to have 50 days, which is, you know, you, you know the whole thing about the Feast of Weeks and all Feast of Harvest and all that stuff. But in John 7, Jesus was setting them up. John 7, y'all. Y'all got John 7 in your Bible. John 7. <laughs> you can always. <laughs> what the <laughs> Y'all y'all bless people. Bless people. You are I'm gonna have to speak that to myself for 2017 and not be so uh callous at times. But I'd be so anxious for you guys to grow up. I really do. Okay. John seven and thirty seven. I like John John seven, the whole chapter is profound. I'm trying to get Jesus to go up to a feast, Jesus said, I ain't going up to Jesus. They were going up to Tabernacles, and Jesus said, I ain't going up yet. And you can read that on your own time. It's some powerful stuff. But one at, at the great day, which is the eighth day of the feast, great day, eighth day, you know, mm -hmm. the feast was seven days. I mean, most of the feast was seven days, except for Passover was three, right? The other two were seven. Pentecost and Tabernacles were seven. But he said, in that last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood in Christ saying, if any man thirst, what? Let him come unto me, and I what? Drink. What happens when you get thirsty? I know the world took it. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you get thirsty, you drink. Mm -hmm. He said, you know what? He stood at the Pool of Salaam. You got to understand it. He was, it was a time of outpouring of war at the Feast of Tabernacles. So it wasn't just some blase fair where he was standing up. He was interrupting a ceremony. Mm -hmm. He said, I know the washing you're about to do is colonel ordinances, but I'm about to expile something to you a little deeper. Yeah. And he said, if any man thirsts, let him come and drink. Because he carried something. Remember he told the woman in the fourth chapter? She left a pot behind. She found out he was 
the well of water. Now he's getting ready to do an invocation of not removing from the well of water, limited, uh, man-made, manufactured, to rivers of water. Verse 38. Man, I'm telling you, I'm getting excited. Pentecostal folks like this kind of stuff. I, I got any Pentecostal folks in there now? Uh, charismatic <laughs> folks too, y'all. That's just, that's just a bigger brother. Uh, Pentecostal. Yeah, charismatic just to... <laughs> oh, Lord. No. He didn't believe it on me. As the scripture has said, out of his belly should flow what? Rivers of living waters. I like that. He that believeth on me. Are there any believers on him tonight? Yes. Yeah. And he said, when you believe on him, you'll never be ashamed. Therefore, if you haven't experienced this dimension, which is the first tier of the river of life, all you need to do, the only thing you need to carry is a believing heart. That's it. I know they used to tell us back in the days that uh, God don't dwell in an unclean temple. Anybody ever heard of that? Yeah. yeah, that's what they used to tell you. You had to get yourself together. I remember when I got out of prison, I went to this church, Christ Temple. Yeah, oh, don't do that. Yeah, I went over to this church over there. And uh, it's the truth. Right. I got over there and they told me, he said, you know, they, I went through the whole ceremony. I was invited from one of my friends. I'm going to say his name. And uh, he said, man, come on over. You know, at that time, I'm hungry. I was a gospel groupie, so I just followed wherever I knew God was going to be doing something. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. Go over there, and, he, and then all the females with the long dress there, ooh, new me. <laughs> <laughs> and they came up there and they said, no. They were like, like piranhas. They were like, what the world? <laughs> hey, brother so and so, who's your friend? <laughs> uh, brother Steve. I said, how you doing, ladies? <laughs> and he said, uh, they, when they got a friend, a, man, a gentleman came and said, hey, you need to go over here. And um, are you filled with the Spirit of God? Are you baptized in Jesus' name? I said, well, I'm baptized, and I am filled with the Spirit. He said, well, you need to get, and he, and he was egging me on, and said, yeah, go with him. Go in the back room. He's going to show you how they don't do it. I said, tell me how to do what? You just can't make this stuff up, man. I said, all right. All right, I, it, it was on. It was sending people that were coming like torpedoes. I said, forget it. I ain't want to be ignorant. Just, you know, I'm in their house. I go in the back room. They told me, they said, hey, they had a whole entourage in there trying to get me perfected in my tongues. They said, I looked at me and said, brother, are you saved? I said, yes, sir. Do you speak in other tongues that the Spirit gives utterance? I said, yes, I do. Are you baptized in Jesus' name? I said, well, that's just the point there. Uh, I'm baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Oh, brother, you can't do that. You got to be baptized in Jesus' name. And I said, okay, all right, well, can we work with that later? I wasn't going to do it. I was just trying to buy time. Get up out of there. So they find So they <laughs> So they Finally said, uh, we need to, he said, let me hear your tongue. So I gave him my tongue. <laughs> I said, like this. So I, gave, I gave him my tongue. I said, the nine, the nine, the nine. But I gave him my tongue. And I did what I, you know, my tongue, whatever came out, the unction. No, nah, brother, you need another tongue. I said, no, 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 no. I need another door. What is that? Honestly, I said, I need another door, dude. I'm getting up out of here. I said, I'm in here with y'all. I said, y'all got me messed up in this church, trying to tell me I ain't got the Holy Ghost. Mm. I told him, I said, man, if you ever invite me back to this church, never again. I've been a couple of times. They went to that room, though. If you, if you watch me out of that room. Oh, they actually did. Yeah, they wanted to try to help me out with my, with my tongue. But well, let me get back to my message. I just wanted to get your attention, because some of y'all look like y'all asleep. But um, he said, out of a belly should flow rivers of living waters. Out of your belly. I told you a long time ago what I tell you belly was. Kalia. Kalia. Mm -hmm. Womb. So out of my womb. Oh, that's some powerful stuff. Kalia is there's some other technical medical terms that's connected with that word. But it's a womb. So we, it said, out of your womb should flow rivers of living water. That word flow is what? Some of you guys been with me from the beginning. Rio. Rio. R H E O. It's where we get the word rhetoric. 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 And rhema. Mm -hmm. So Rio is rhema. So some of us don't have the living waters because we don't have not understood the spirit of revelation. 
That's your pump. The spirit of revelation. Being intimate with the Holy Spirit will cause your flow to be strengthened. How many know we have a we need some spiritual enemas in the body? Huh? We actually need our wound cleanse. See, that's what the apostle and prophet does. The prophet cleanses the wound. Y'all guess that? The apostle impregnates the wound. So you need, you get what I'm saying? The characteristics, the female and the male. You know, he's the seed carrier. That's why we need apostles, because they carry the seed to put in your womb. Because out of your womb, there should be a unique expression. That's why this house, you know, never get uh, d disturbed uh, or, or, or feel uh, downcast or belittled because you try to share the, the real, the flow of the house. And people can't understand. It's okay. Because maybe the womb is not clean enough or clear enough. Oh, you'll get haughty. It's just that the seed that we carry is different. See, what we've done is we've uh, put the Holy Ghost on the black market. What we've done, we, we've liquidated the, the ministerial aspect of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> because they told us for so long, 100 years or so, you must speak in tongues. That is the only, that's the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's the threshold mm -hmm. to the kingdom. When you really start growing up in the things of God, your language changes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. your your cognitive ability in the in the things of God changes. Yeah. Your articulation changes. Yeah. Yeah. Words start coming off your lips you never heard before. Mm -hmm. You know, God will start visiting you in your night season. You'll be sitting there, sleeping, not sitting there, sleeping there. <laughs> You'll be sleeping, and then things that come up in your sleep. And if anybody ever been there, raise your hand. Anybody? Huh? That, that are some of the rudimentary uh, manifestations of the river of life. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't received any communication from the Holy Spirit, it will leave you stagnant and stale. It's not just enough to, to be stuck in and, and caught up in the charismata. I mean, most of us, just we're excited because we got a charismatic edge to us. You know, because we got one of the nine gifts of the Spirit. You know, and I thank God we're a gifted place and we've created a platform so you can express.